I think I think uh, the problem is we've been stereotyped. We've been told that we don't matter. We ain't nobody. When we wow. were, when we are the chosen people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Doctor, bring it out. Bring it out, Doc. We, we, we are, you know. If you think about it, you know. Uh, reason why they fight against us so much, they know who we are. So I, I, I grew up in an era uh, where um, you respected God to the highest. Then nothing come before God. Wow. Power, that's the first and greatest commandment. That's right. That's I have no other guys before me. That's right. That's right. So with this current condition, and uh, like I said, we're out, you know, having interviews and trying yeah. to attain this information, especially talking to, I tell my brother all the time, trying to find a man, you know how hard it is nowadays to find a man yeah. like yourself yeah. to have a conversation to ask this question to. Because they really don't have any information to give, no knowledge, no anything. And so it puts us at a disposition of, or a position to say, dang, okay, I guess we're the elders now. Like, it's, it's amazing I'm sitting here talking to you because I'm, I'm, I love talking to my elders. I love listening to y'all speak. But uh, I know you said schools and, and I know you're seeing God. Do you think that there's an easier way to have a conversation with a lost people? When I say lost, I mean they have no recollection of what God, have no recollection of what history or who we are or, or where we come from, anything. Is there anything that you know that we could possibly do easier to get, especially families, together and understand that we are the future, we are the world, but we've got to be able to follow God in order to have this moral compass of family? Because that's who gave us family and the entity of marriage, God. Right, right. I think, I think uh, the problem is we've been stereotyped. We've been told that we don't matter, we ain't nobody. When we, wow. were, when we are the chosen people. Whoa, 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 come on, Doctor, bring it out. Bring it out, Doc. We, we, we are, you know. If you think about it, you know, the uh, reason why they fight against us so much, they know who we are. I didn't tell the doctor to say that. <laughs> I didn't tell the doctor to say that. They know, they know who we are. That's the reason they fight us so much. We the only race of people that wow. they fight the way they fight. Wow. Come on now, Doc. Because they know who we are. It's left up to us to know who we are. Now, Calm when, you, when, you, when you know that you know that you know, yes, sir. then can't nobody, can't nobody shake you, can't nobody move you. Right. I know who I am. That's right. When I walk in a place, you ain't got to tell Dr. Green he's Dr. Green. I already know that. That's right. <laughs> so, 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 you know, we we got to we got to distill in our people who we are, who they are. Until we do that, until we can get those people to understand that we're chosen people, they they are stereotyping. They're gonna do what they've been doing for the last hundred years. Mm. Wow. See, I come from a slave town. Slave worked 310 years without a day's pay. Wow. In Alabama. Wow. Mm. So, if they didn't have God, they couldn't have made it. That's right. They couldn't have made it. That's right. Some of the things that they went through, some of the things they went through, if they didn't have God in their life, they never would have made it. Mm. Never would have made it. And I wouldn't have made it. I'm 70 years old. There's some times in Alabama that, man, I didn't, I didn't know what I could do those things or not. I, Hey, I was getting a little attitude myself, and God said, come down. I, I'll fight your belt. That's right. You just stand still, right? That's right. So, so you know, it's, and finding somebody my age or younger to talk about this, that's going to be hard to do. I'm telling that's, you. That's going to be hard to do. I'm telling you. Because they don't know nothing about it and don't want to know nothing about it. Mm, that second one right there. They don't want to know nothing don't about it. Don't want to know nothing about it. No. And that, that's, that's, that's a heartbreaking thing. It is. I could sit down for hours and, and talk about things like this because you find nobody else that want to talk about it. People 40, 50, 60 years old, we don't want to talk about this. We don't talk about this. No. That's so, a 70 year old wisdom man telling so, us exactly what yeah, we always so, witness. So, 
it's, it's, it's a heartbreaking thing. And, and, it does. And uh, we got our work cut out for us, trying to get these people to understand this, to understand that we need to find out who we are and stand up for our right. That's right. See, uh, it's, it's, I could tell you many situations in the Bible where the man was black and, and uh, he overcame these things. God, as Solomon said, you know, I'll grant you anything you want. And Solomon said, I want a wisdom. That's all I want. David, yeah, Solomon, yeah, you're right. That's right. That's all I want. That's all I want. Wisdom. Why So we're trying to put wisdom in these people that don't want it. And if we could get, we could get some of our people to understand and know who they are, they, I believe they stand up more. But mm -hmm. how are you gonna get how are you gonna get the wisdom and the knowledge in them when they don't want to hear? That's what I'm asking you. How, you, how do we do it? <laughs> you see what's out here? We out here trying. It's, it, it's gonna be hard, bro. It's gonna be hard. I, I've been trying this for a long time now. I, I, most of the people don't want to hear this. They, they, they say you're going back in the day. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, the, back in the day brought us where we at now. That's right. And back in the day, it's the day. It's That's still right. happening over yeah, and over so, and over and over. So, you know, it's it's going to be hard, brother. But you can't quit. Yeah, you can't quit. You can't quit. You got to keep on, you got to keep on keeping on like they said. Oh, because Because you, 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 if you quit, you're going to be that much further behind, trying to catch up. It took me 40 years to find out who I am. And when I found out who I were, couldn't nobody do nothing with me, couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't, not, they couldn't tell me nothing. I just knew who I was. Okay. I know who I am today. I can walk in the room with the president of the United States today. He can't tell me that I don't know who I am because I know who I am. Son I'm Dr. The, Sherman Green. Son of the Most High God. That's, That's right. right. The son. So. It's gonna be a hard thing, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing a good thing, but a hard thing. Cause most, most black men don't want to talk about this. Wow. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. But it's one of the greatest things they could talk about. One of the greatest. Because when you and another man talk, then somebody else is listening too. Yeah. Somebody else here. They're going to begin to think, okay, they said this. I wonder if that's true. Mm -hmm. So they begin to kind of you know, search things out. That's, that's how I do I begin to search things out and, and wonder if, uh, granddaddy said this. And I, I, I don't know what granddaddy know what he's talking about, but I had to find out. Got to go find out. Thanks. I went to find it out, went to dig and read me and ask him questions, and it was true what he told me. He said, you're the son of the most high God. Oh, great. Huh? All praises. That's right. So, <laughs> you know, it's 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 gonna be hard, bro. But don't quit. Don't quit. It's some more. It's some more. It's some more. Doctor Greens out there. It's <laughs> some more Doctor Greens out it's, there. It's some more. Right. It's some more out there somewhere. All praises. But they find between. They are. You see what I'm talking about? They. Uh, you might. You might pass 50 black men, and one of them, just mm. one of them, would agree to talk to you about this. So it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. I'm not trying to discourage you or nothing. No, you're I'm the just truth. I'm just telling you how it is. I lived in a community in Caledonia, in a community that the community was about fifteen thousand people. I went all over Caledonia. I talked to everybody. I knew everybody. Two people, two men, out of the whole city of Caledonia, would talk about this. Good God. Ooh. Two men, and I'm telling you, out of Georgia, there's a lot of black men here, but there's a very few gonna talk about this. Hey, but sitting. you cannot, you cannot stop, because if you quit, then who else quit? Mm. 